Hey guys, and welcome back to I Like Watches, and man, a man, have I got something pretty special in store for you today. This is an unedited unboxing video, and inside this box, there should be a proper tourbillon watch. I picked this watch up in the recent AliExpress sale for less than £200. I still can't believe it. I feel like I've won the lottery. A proper tourbillon for £200. 200 pounds i think it was about 195 pounds 270 odd dollars what's that 225 230 euros that is insane but is it any good well hopefully in about five minutes time we'll know won't we right um so this is my unedited unboxing video and um this is pretty much what came um i got this blue box with the watch in it um this envelope don't know what's in there and um a strap um, so yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. I just, <laughs> I can't wait to get into this uh, box. I'm curious to know what's in this envelope though. Um, rather crudely folded. So I hope it's nothing special like a certificate. That'd be a real shame. Um, nice envelope though. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got. I hope it's not, not got any of my personal details on it. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. Uh, just details of servicing. Um, oh, okay, so it's like a thank you card, um, an instruction leaflet, a certificate by the looks of it, all rolled into one. Um, yeah, nice. The paper's not as nice as the certificate paper that came um, with the Exciton certificate, but there you go, still nice to have. Right, um, okay, no more messing, come on. Oh man, a proper tourbillon watch. This channel's going places. Okay, it was less than 200 pounds, but still. Um, um, unbelievable I, I still can't believe it i've had a few open heart um sort of dial watches where you've seen a few bits and pieces moving obviously through a hole in the dial but this a proper working tourbillon oh man oh man i am going to put on the time graph very very quickly um and i'll put that footage at the end of this video because i've been warned that these watches um although they look good you know and they are proper working tourbillons they're not that accurate so that's something that I'm really keen to do in this unboxing as well. So I will do that towards the end of this video. I'll also show you some wrist shots. Oh man, it looks awesome. Oh, okay, well, that's um, unsigned. We've got a cloth, a tool. Nice, pink frilly cloth, very nice. This packaging reminds me a little bit of Seagull um, watches. They come in um, similar boxes to this. Oh man, honestly, um, I really am absolutely uh, buzzing. Okay. <gasps> Whew. Okay, before I look at the watch, just make sure there's nothing else in here. Take all this apart. Oh, this looks like a little... Oh. I guess that's for different sized watches. Okay, nothing else in there. Not sure what I was expecting, but here we go. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I hope it's good. Oh, imagine if it's like plus six minutes a day. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty. <laughs> but you can't tell the time with it. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. It feels quite heavy, actually. Man. Right. Um, leather strap is a. Oh, it's got the uh, famous. Uh, Oh dear, look at that. Um, okay, straps probably going to get changed pretty quick. Okay, I'm, I'm holding off looking at the actual um, case. Sort of build up anticipation. Um, I genuinely do not look at these watches. There might be a few people out there thinking, oh, he's, he definitely has a sneaky peek. Honestly, I properly uh, promise that I don't. It kills me. I've got a few watches. Oh, come on. A few watches next to this light box. Um, all stacked up, um, and I just don't even have a sneaky peek because honestly, um, I want to feel excited when I'm unboxing it. Oh man, what's going on? Cool. Um, so yeah, it does. It really does kill me um, to not have a sneaky peek, but I think it definitely adds to the um, well, the excitement for me as well to unbox these watches. Not signed. Okay, but still pretty typical of the sort of um, straps and um, clasps, buckles that come with these things. Right, let's have a little... I mean, I didn't realise the case back was like this. That looks pretty um, pretty smart. Reminiscent or similar to Labini's, isn't it? Um, they like their... Um, oh man, 
come on. <laughs> it's showing me an arrow. What? What's that doing? Is there's nothing there? What? Here it is. Right. Oh wow. I mean that dial. I cannot wait to take some macro shots of that. It doesn't look like there's any AR coating, which is a bit of a shame because um, I think this dial would definitely benefit. I might be wrong, but um, yeah, the reflection is impacting on the clarity of that dial quite a lot. But look at that sparkle. That is awesome. It's quite a big watch. I'm really not sure what I was expecting. I sort of intentionally don't remind myself about these watches um, before I unbox them. What's the winding movement like? Feels quite springy. Oh, I was just about to say, I hope it works. Oh man, that is pretty cool. Now, there are there might be some people out there that really aren't sort of sure about tourbillons, what they're for and you know how they came about. My understanding is that they were actually traditionally made or they were originally built for pocket watches because pocket watches tend to hang one way, um, you know, one way up. They sort of hang, obviously, and um, they're always the same way up. So to um, reduce the impact of gravity on the movement and the fact that gravity can affect the accuracy of the movement, um, they made um, this movement where uh, all the important components spin around. Um, so there is an argument that for wristwatches they're not that useful, but who cares? They look awesome. Oh man, that is pretty cool. Um, right, let's have a look at the finishing. The polishing does seem very, very nice, actually. Lovely and clear. Um, if the sound goes funny, it's because I'm having a look under the camera to have a really good look. I mean, the polishing does seem very nice. I love that case back. How cool is that? It's so simple. There's not a lot to see, but the finishing is very, very nice. This seems like unbelievable value. A proper tourbillon for less than £200. And the dial is really sparkly. Yeah, very nice. Well... It looks like it's working absolutely fine. So, um, yeah. And uh, I'll pop it on the time graph almost immediately. And um, hopefully we'll know whether or not I've received um, a watch that actually tells the time properly. I mean, there's not a lot else to say about it, is there really? Other than the strap's a bit naff. Um, you'll definitely want to change that if you've picked one up. I know there are a few people out there that pick these up in the sale. And if you haven't got yours yet, yeah, strap's not great, buckle's pretty nasty, um, but the watch itself is, <laughs> I mean, pretty cool, isn't it? Very cool. Certainly a talking point. All right, guys, I know I was a lot of waffling and rambling in that one. Uh, I was like a little mosquito all over the shop, wasn't I? But, uh, oh, it's so nice to have a look at it. Oh, the other strap. Maybe the other strap's better. Let's have a quick look at the other strap, shall we? No, no better. Um, still pretty rubbish. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to go and put it on and take some wrist shots. I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.